So a major part of being an eye doctor is not just making a diagnosis and treating a disease that is happening right now on somebody's eyes, but in fact is advocating for healthy lifestyle changes that can protect the eyes and prevent them from getting a disease in the first place. Anyhow, one of the easiest things that people can be doing is wearing sunglasses. In fact, sunglasses have many health benefits to them for protecting the eyes and the skin around the eyes. In fact, I bet many of the health benefits of sunglasses you don't even know about. And that's why in this video I want to go over why sunglasses are important and ultimately why I am always wearing sunglasses. Let's take a look. Hey, what's up? This is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes, vision, finding the best vision products. If you're new here to the channel and like learning about the eyes, seeing your best, then consider hitting the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of our future videos. Now, I do want to start off just by thanking our video sponsor from Christopher Kloos Eyewear. They're a Danish eyewear brand that they sent out a few pairs for me to try, and I've really just enjoyed the quality of their lenses, their frames, and their overall stylish design. Plus, they do have several different frames available that are biodegradable and eco-friendly, so taking care of the planet is something I value, so it makes me excited to work with them. If you want to check out Christopher Kloos Eyewear yourself, I'll put links in the video description below so you can check out their website. Also, you can use the store locator button to find an optical near you which may be carrying this brand. Otherwise, thank you to Christopher Kloos Eyewear for sponsoring this video and making eye care education possible. Now, when it comes to wearing sunglasses, most of the health benefits of sunglasses really stems from their UV light protecting ability. UV light is short for ultraviolet light. And if you can remember the visual spectrum being Roy G. Biv, the V part is indigo and then violet. So UV light is right below violet and is ultraviolet. In fact, uh, it's not part of the visual spectrum, so you can't see ultraviolet light but it is still present even on cloudy days, and that is exactly why if you're out on the beach and it's a cloudy day, but the sun is out, you can still get sunburn from that ultraviolet light. Again, you can't see it, but it's there. And if you are somebody who is not wearing sunglasses on a regular basis, this UV light does cause damage to not just the skin and the eyelid around the eye, but the eyes themselves. One of the easiest and most frequent eye diseases that eye doctors will mention that is good for wearing sunglasses to protect from is that of age-related cataracts. UV light is known to penetrate deep into the eye and kind of in a way almost cook the lens, the crystalline lens inside the eye. And this makes the lens turn kind of a cloudy appearance. A particular type of cataract called a cortical cataract, it kind of looks like bicycle spokes coming in from the sides that is a type of cataract that is known to be caused more by exposure to UV light. In fact, studies have shown that people who are exposed to more UV light over the course of their lifetime and don't wear sunglasses are more likely to develop these types of cataracts. But really preventing cataracts is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to sunglasses protecting the eyes. What I consider to be a lesser talked about benefit of sunglasses is that of UV light aging and thinning of the eyelid skin. The eyelids are some of the thinnest tissue on the entire body, and UV light causes thinning of that skin and basically premature aging around the eyelids. And if you're spending a lot of time outdoors and you're not protecting your eyelids from UV rays, then your eyelid skin can thin out and that'll make the appearance of dark circles and eye bags more prominent, basically making your eyelids and face look older. Not to mention UV light exposure can cause sunburn to the eyelids, and in fact about 5 to 10% of all skin cancers occur on the eyelids, most notably the lower eyelid, as the eyebrow can cause a little bit of shading and protect the upper eyelid from that sunlight exposure. In fact, it's not just the eyelids that can get sunburn, but the cornea, the clear window surface to the eye, can also get sunburn because the cornea absorbs about 99% of UV rays that penetrate through our cloud's atmosphere. And in the eye care world, we call this sunburn photokeratitis. And a lot of people more commonly will know this as snow blindness, as skiers, snowboarders, people on hitting the slopes, that sunlight, the UV light will hit and bounce off of the snow. About 80% of UV light is reflected off of the top of water. And so this can end up hitting you in the eye, giving you almost a double dose, and that can give you severe sunburn to the surface of the eye. Hence why skiing and snowboarding goggles are such a popular thing. Furthermore, UV light exposure can contribute to growths 
on the surface of the eye. Some people develop these nasty, red, irritating growths that are growing onto the eye. We call those pterygiums. Some people may commonly know them as surfer's eye, but that is largely caused by excessive UV light exposure and wearing sunglasses is probably the cheapest, most cost-effective way at preventing or re really slowing down the growth of that disease. Now, one of the other cool things about UV light and how it affects the cornea, again, how I said that the cornea absorbs about 99% of the UV rays that get into your eyes. Well, if you're someone who's ever had LASIK or some other form of refractive surgery, you may remember your surgeon telling you to start wearing sunglasses whenever you're outside. And that's because UV light exposure has been found in studies to affect the healing rate of the cornea, especially after having any sort of refractive surgery, such as LASIK. So if you're somebody who's really hard on your eyes, whether you've had surgery or you wear contact lenses excessively, having some sort of UV light protection may slow down any sort of issues with healing and may help your eye heal faster. Not to mention just wearing sunglasses is basically like putting on a protective shield over your eyes, which are gonna help prevent any sort of dust, wind, or sand from blowing and hitting you in the eyes, making them feel uncomfortable. And on a personal note, one of the reasons why you will frequently see me wear sunglasses, not just again here on YouTube, but on Instagram, is because I myself struggle a lot with migraine headaches. And wearing sunglasses can really improve the comfort of my eyesight and vision when I'm around bright lights. And it's well known that bright lights can be a common trigger for people with chronic headaches and migraines, especially after any sort of head injury or TBI traumatic brain injury. And that way, wearing sunglasses really helps me prevent from getting headaches. And then probably one other really cool reason I love wearing sunglasses and I'm always wearing sunglasses is because it enhances my vision and eyesight. Particularly with sunglasses that have polarized filters in them, I am kind of a snob when it comes to polarized lenses. Not all the time, you don't always need polarized lenses, but it's something that really adds an extra reduction of glare in your eyesight. You can even see different parts of the world around you because of polarized filters. If you are not completely sure what polarization means in glasses, you know, polarized versus non-polarized sunglasses, I do have another video I did going into detail, the science of that and really the pros and cons, who should get polarized and who shouldn't get polarized glasses. Uh, if you want to check out that video, I'll have links to that in the description below, again, if you want to check it out. Now, all of these reasons for protecting your eyes is all pretty amazing, mainly because your eyes are arguably, at least in my opinion, the most precious sensory organ in your entire body. I mean, could you imagine what life would be like if you lost your vision? But when it really comes down to it, sunglasses are just one of the best and easiest ways to prevent eye diseases and prevent vision problems, people going blind in the future. So which one of the cool benefits of sunglasses mentioned in this video was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section and let me know if there's any other cool reasons that weren't mentioned. Either way, I appreciate watching the video. If you enjoyed it and learned something new, smash that like button for me, drop a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Otherwise, if you wanna learn more about sunglasses, finding the best sunglasses for you, kind of navigating that whole space. I do have other videos on the subject, so go ahead and click or tap the screen over there if you want to learn a little bit more. Otherwise, again, this is Dr. Allen here from Dr. Eye Health. Keep an eye on it, and we'll talk to you soon.